Hi. Hello. <laughs> we are. This is just not the week for this. <laughs> totally not prepared. <laughs> so, um, while we are getting things situated, waking up the machine, um, the designs are on that USB stick over there. Um, today, we have the, what month are we in? October. <laughs> Fill in the blank. <laughs> right? Today is the October fill in the blank program. And this is the adorable tea towels. And the tea towel, you get a set of two. Um, they aren't the original ones that you might have seen. So I know originally they were supposed to be on some, maybe some light gray pinstripe mm -hmm. ones, but they're stuck on the slow boat from China and didn't make it here. So we are working with the darker gray versions and um, that's what we're going to be working with today. So many of you have already picked up your kits from yep. us and you should be good to go. Um, we're going to be doing the pumpkin, not the pumpkin face. So um, I think I decided maybe that I didn't want my pumpkin to have the face on it because then it could go through Thanksgiving and not just Halloween. Cool. So That'll work. you can choose that too. Um, and in just a very short minute, as soon as we get our stuff together, we're going to begin. Would you like stripes or polka dots? Oh, so many choices. What do you want? I think polka dot. Mm. Polka dots it is. So you are supposed to prep your towel by pressing it um, hot dog style in half and then marking up five inches. We're going to wing it because I didn't prep it. <laughs> hot dog. Hot dog. Mm -hmm. Hot dog, hot dog, hot digging dog. And you should have some sticky tear away in your hoop um, with the shiny side up so that when you peel the paper away, it is sticky. Oh. Are you stuck? Yeah, you're totally stuck. I am like in cord heaven over here. Yeah, it's bad. But I'm unplugging things. Yeah, I don't know that that's going to work. It's between the legs of my thing. How about we go this way? Okay. So, um, I'm going to pull up the About design. for Caitlin to call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to grab the design instructions right here so that I can tell you where we're at. All right, okay. so page four so. has you um, doing one fold, fold A, which is the wrong side of the tea towel. So, so fold wrong sides together and then mark up five inches. Wrong sides? Wrong side of, no, I apologize. I wrong like, side of what? the tea towel out, right okay. sides together. Okay, so if you look in the little camera on the side, we've got that done there. And we're going to go up about five. Yep, five inches. And then you're going to fold. Okay. And they recommend so, that you put a pin in it here. Yeah, I don't do that. Um, so I usually hit that with my iron and that gives me a crosshair. Exactly. Because I don't want to put any more holes anywhere that I have to. And nope. I generally tend to stab myself when I put pins in things. That one's got a face. We're just not going to stitch the I'm face. I'm just not going to stitch the face. I'm okay. assuming it's the same file because I only saw one on there, but I didn't look that hard. So there is a centering design and there is uh, the, the home pumpkin design. I don't know where your scissors are. Is that what you're looking uh, for? I'm looking for something. I can't start here. I got to see if that'll get us started. Okay. All right. And so now that I have where... Um, where that's going to go, I need to score. You can either do the X or you could do a box around. It does not matter. What you do need is a start <laughs> somewhere. And we need to get rid of all of that top paper. So if you are following along in the instructions, Lisa, is getting rid of the paper um, so that we have our sticky attached, the, the sticky to attach the towel to. 
And then we are going to start it's with crosshair. The centering, the, yep, crosshair. So and there we go. Sticky, sticky. Yes, yeah, sticky, sticky. Oh, I just lodged this camera, I think. It's not on. There we go. Oh, I guess I'm not as far off as I thought. Mm -mm. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Okay, so we're threaded currently with brown, which will work for the moment. Um, we just need to know where to place. <laughs> it's red for a reason. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and stitch that crosshair in there, which is going to tell us where to put that. So our fold... Um, if we followed. So um, the crosshair is good enough. It's close enough for who it's for. Yep. I'm going to work on that while well, I you work... re-thread that and re-needle it and mm -hmm. whatever yep. that's um, going on. Yep, you got the top of that needle in there. I got some I take that needle out. going on. Oh, it's probably because of that. That would definitely do it. Oh, goodness. We are definitely the comedy show today. <laughs> but um, bum. <laughs> so, um, don't do that. Are totally winging it. We're something that. That's fine. So, what we have is a very poorly. Um, could you hit the other camera? Mm -hmm. I can. There we go. All right. So I know you can't see this super well. Look, it's actually um, pretty good. <laughs> put it on the dark. I think the lighter was better. Was it? Yeah, I think you can really oh, see yeah, them. Okay, um, so I've, I've got needle marks if I don't have um, actual yeah. thread there. So what I want to do is I need to place this so that um, when I open it, it's going to center itself here. So depending upon which direction your raw edges, um, they're not raw, they're actually finished but um the fold is at all right so we're going to center on that line right there so i'm going to just place that in the corner actually get up a little bit there so i can see what i'm doing and open that so that it's right on that line and i'm going to open that first fold and Press that right along that crosshair, smooth that out on my sticky, and then open that So what color do we want home to be? Um, home is going to be in this fabric, which mm -hmm. is what I have the black for okay. with the outline. So you want, okay. I, well, that's what I stared at the picture really quick, mm -hmm. and that's what I thought was, I don't know. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> whatever you want it to be. <laughs> um, I've got black, orange, and we had brown over here for the stem. I figured we had green somewhere if we needed it. I didn't know if we needed it, but um, all right. So we have that open. What is that? Thing? That just stuck. Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to hunt my scissors. Okay. So I'm just going to place the hoop back on the machine here. And I've got my pumpkin design, my home design loaded. And... I didn't get it, but now I get it. It's thread. Yes. <laughs> that looks really weird. I was like, did I load the wrong design? So if you're looking at your screen and you're wondering what in the world is, does it, it looks funny. It's because part of Parts the, of the letters are just thread. Yeah. Not which all is fabric. Mostly the M. It's like the first leg of the M. It's just all thread and no. In the center fabric. of the H. Yes. So we have this nice 
chevron fabric that's going to uh and it does have um usable yes usable i used easy to use on the back of mine in case anybody is wondering so how's everybody doing today we're obviously doing fantastic here we are actually doing okay we've just been very um it's been busy today so the phones rang a lot and we've had a lot of bag lady um shoppers today and um, it's been a great day it's just mm -hmm. all of a sudden it was like whoa i know we haven't had a chance to um we haven't even had an opportunity to hi eat our chat how right, are you right our treats no so thank you so much Shirley. but i haven't had one yet no we have i got one out of the bag you I got that far, but I haven't actually opened it. <laughs> I didn't even get that far. <laughs> Priorities, man. <laughs> I got one out. Oh, hi, Judy. So Hello. So um, this one is is a, a pretty straightforward. Um, we've got some applique. We've got a little bit of glitter. Is this the rest of our stuff in here? Uh huh. All right. So we've got a little bit. Oh, that's not so pretty. You don't think so? That's really bright. That's really though I don't nice. know that this one's any better. Right. That one's better. One better. That one's definitely better. Um, I don't know if there's any thread in that bag back there, but that might have something in it. But then again, it might not too. I think we use, um, that might be the orange I had from that. If I fall out of my chair, would you believe like there's an orange in there? Same thing. It is the same thing. There we go. It's Which is the orange. Orange it is. Yeah. Well, but we didn't stitch on the um, right. pumpkin. Two grays. Two grays. Yeah. And a purple. And a purple. All right. So that is the placement lines for our letters. So like I said, we have the chevron that was in the kit. And we do... Um, Sarah did have a chance to very quickly iron some fusible to the back of that. So we're going to completely cover up those placement lines. Not a whole lot of excess fabric. I think they have a little bit more. We got a special We have kit. a special kit because this was like a leftover yeah. edge. Um, so you should have a slightly bigger piece than we have here. But ours is big enough. It is. So we're going to just gently cover that up and basically repeat what we just did and tack that in place. Um, you could tape you this. Could if of you course wanted. tape if you wanted to. I'm sure you're all very shocked that ours is not being taped, right? Totally, totally. Um, I am dying of thirst, so I'm gonna sneak over here. I already grabbed mine. I'm just gonna try not to hit anything. Okay. I'm sorry. No apology necessary. So we have um, only a couple of days left until we hit the next month's fill in the blank schedule. So um, we are working on getting all of that ready. We'll let you know as soon as we have those kits prepped. The project looks super cute. It is a um, velvet wine bag. So um, you could use that as a gift um, or um, maybe you just want to have something super cute in your own house for decor. That will certainly work as well. The, um, the design on it is really, really sharp. So I know Hayden was working on it and not really sure how far he's gotten. So we're working on that. We'll let you know as soon as they're ready. Of course, we'll get those... Um, designs emailed out the beginning of the month, but not uh, quite ready for you guys to pick up the kits on the first yet. We'll let you know as soon as those are ready. We have a couple more days, so it's possible we'll have those ready actually on the first. But in the meantime, if you haven't already stitched this, um, we are coming up on the end of this, and then I will do some trimming. The uh, only the other piece on this is going to be the pumpkin. And we do have some foam that's going to go underneath that. So that's going to be the, not really tricky part, but the involved portion of this stitch out. Um, this is just basic applique. So we will have the foam um, that we'll need to do uh, next. Once I trim and we do all of that. 
Oh, top and then face if they want to do face. Yep. I was trying to figure out what, what that the ex excess was. That's the top of the pumpkin. Oh. That totally makes sense. And then I just assumed it was going to be sage brown. That's why I grabbed the brown bread. Or the brown bread. So, That's what we get for not reading the instructions. Well, hey, I haven't read anything yet. Right? I'm I just, mean, I'm just. I'm literally winging this, guys. <laughs> so. I like the the fabric, the the spider web fabric, but mm -hmm. um, I like this too. And uh, I think it looked a lot like the chevron um, in, the in the original picture. There's not a whole lot of fabric showing. So, um, all right. So this is all of the tack down lines. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch over to the other camera and I will trim off that excess. And I'm going to peel the uh, clear film off of the, what is this, the glitter. Glitter, yep. And um, you can actually peel that too quickly and tear it. So um, ask me how I know. <laughs> you know, it's the little things in life. <laughs> right. <laughs> surprise right you have two pieces yeah um i don't recommend having that problem um fortunately uh it still turned out okay for that project but hmm. those aren't the good ones there's some glue on these <laughs> i wonder who did that were you using those when you were gluing um, it could have been your that. scan and cut together? Don't, no, no, it was not. Um, it wasn't those. I used the turning tool and I cleaned it when ah. I was done. So I don't believe this one was me, but who knows? It's possible. I do occasionally do not so smart things. <laughs> I just don't generally take credit for them. <laughs> Don't need to take credit for those items that we no. mess up, right? Nope. This is actually a fair bit of trimming. Yeah. Some easy pieces, but there those curves are a little bit of a challenge. So if you're watching for the first time, um, Lisa is using her favorite six inch double curved for more scissors. Um, they really get into that space. Nice. Allow me to get into those curves. Mm -hmm. Get right up next to whatever it is that I'm trimming. Yep. And um, we did prep the fabric beforehand so she is trimming through two layers, essentially, because we do have um, the fusible woven on the back. And I've talked about the fusible woven that is my favorite um, a few times. So there's many different fusible, fusible wovens on the market, and we carry a couple of different versions. Um, Kimberbell makes a nice one. Um, OESD makes a nice one. Um, there is a product on the market called SF101. Um, that was probably the original one that we uh, that everybody sort of glommed onto a, a long time ago. Um, the product that we're using is a product called Easy Tea. It is made by Heat and Bond. Um, the reason that it's my favorite is because it comes pre-shrunk. So um, the manufacturer has already pre-shrunk the fabric before they've applied the adhesive to the back of it, and it's one of the best adhesives that I've used. Um, it the glue, the little dots on the back, they um, they melt um, evenly and they don't leave little bubbles and they don't give away uh, later on. So um, I've used a lot of shape flex in my day, which is SF 101 um, and had some issues with it shrinking later on and not fusing evenly. Um, but we really love this product and it comes in two different um, sort of they, they're both the same quantity. They just come in two different 
cut, uh, sizes. cut sizes. So there's one that is like 14 inches by a couple of yards long, which of course is a little bit easier to handle because you it's it's sort of flat packed um, and you can just kind of unfold it and then it just sort of will roll out for you. Um, and then it comes in like a two yard chunk. So like 72 by 80. So um, the shorter ones work really good for if you're doing in the hoop um, projects and cutting little pieces and things like that. Um, the bigger ones work better if you have um, larger chunks of fabric or like if you're doing a, what it's designed for, right? A t-shirt, um, if you're interfacing lots of different sizes and pieces or you need longer lengths um, that don't mathematically work out to 14 inches. The other size um, usually works out better for you, but um, the, the shorter one is definitely easier to handle. And um, yeah, I rambled along. A I'm lot. trying. I, it's okay. It's one of those things, right? They're just, um, it's just a lot of little cutting. It doesn't look like it's that much, but it really is. Lots of edges. Lots and lots of edges. So next month, um, we have wine bottle bags or gift bags, um, but they do I say- a little while you were getting your drink. Yeah. Um, I didn't say what it said. Something cheer, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then December, apparently, wasn't it supposed to be December and apron? I don't know exactly what it was supposed to be. I feel like I read that it was supposed to be that casserole carry or somewhere else previous to our conversation, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that was the already, already augmented over. right version or... For some reason, I thought there was supposed to be an apron, and I thought that it was December, but apparently uh, December, I think the apron or whatever December's original product was supposed to be is also stuck on the same slow boat from China as the original towels. Uh, for this particular project. So they have um, adjusted December's project to be a casserole and it's using the, it's using the tote bags. So the Buffalo check tote bag, um, I saw a picture of it this morning. It is adorable. Um, I'm actually, I, I think it's, I think it's a great, great project. So um, there have been lots of different aprons. So this is, um, it's a really neat project. I think everybody's going to like it a lot. And um, I'm sure that very soon you guys are going to start asking what's next. Um, we don't know what's next, but we do know that it's going to be different. So there will not be another sign up for our fill in, fill in the, the blank, blank program because it does appear like they're changing it. So um, we don't have the information yet, but you know, as soon as we know, you will know. Or as soon as I know and have time to put it out, you will know. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have. Are we still in black? We are. Is that okay? Um, I. Do you want to change to orange or brown? I don't really care. I just that's why I was asking. Yeah, I um, I don't care. I think it's okay if my it's going to do a little squirrel afterwards, so I'm okay with black. If it were mine, I would be okay with it. How's that? Okay. Got stabilizing. Yes. Yeah. Not plain friendly. All right. So um, letters are trimmed. We're now we're going to work into the pumpkin, and we have the stem going in first. So that is going to be the kind of copper colored glitter. So Sarah has already peeled off the um, plastic topping. Whenever you use glitter, you want to make sure that you take that off. That's that shiny top piece. Um, we're going to completely cover up that placement line. And now we're going to tack that in place. Of course, you may use tape if you would like. probably want to trim that before we do that swirl. Yes, I, I think we'll probably want to trim that. So there's going to be a little decorative kind of vine coming off of that, but we're going to get rid of, oops, so sorry. I already changed. Oh, good thing. Someone might have gotten a little nauseous from that. 
um, at my mom's house last night having dinner and um, my sister and her son, my nephew, FaceTimed. Um, I can't FaceTime because I don't have Apple, so mm -hmm. they called my mom's phone. And, uh -huh. You can now, just in case you wanted to know. Oh, man. man. <laughs> I'm good with that. I'm, I'm good with the not being able to part. Apple changed that. But, uh... They knew how disappointed you were. I was so sad. So, so very sad. Could you tell? <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, anyway, got on on the phone and he's got the phone. And I'm just like, okay, uh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I totally get the whole um, trying not to move everything. Um, as um, always, when you are cutting, these are raw edge. So try to make your original cut what you want because it's much harder to turn later. It tends to look much choppier when you go back. There's a little piece of glue <laughs> just in the wrong spot. <laughs> It's because I keep hitting a cord. I was going to say it's because it's nested into that cord. I've, yes, it's got a very limited roll space. All right, so we have the um, excess trimmed off there. Now, if you're following in your directions, I can pretty much guarantee they're going to have you fuse that glitter before you move on. Um, yep, this it's is step number seven. It's pretty small. Um, I do generally fuse if I'm at home. We don't have a little iron over here that fits in this hoop, super easy accessible to us right here. Um, but what you would want to do is completely cover up that glitter with a some sort of pressing cloth. It could be another piece of fabric. It could be the original piece of plastic whatever doesn't matter just make sure that you are not directly hitting that glitter with your iron um, and then once you have that fused in place that's going to be about a 10 to 15 second fuse and then you are going to go ahead and get rid of whatever you've got on top and stitch in this case the little vine next to it we are now going ahead and she's threading in some orange thread because our next step is going to be the pumpkin so we're going to do a placement line that's going to tell us where to put that. And we're going to place, I'm assuming, the foam first. And then we're going to trim off the excess foam. And then we will cover that up with the velveteen. All right. So there's the placement line. So this is um, shape. I don't know what Flexi they call foam? Flexi foam, I think is their name for it. There's mm -hmm. um, other companies have this as well. So Kimberbell, of course, um, since they're using it in projects, they have come up with their own. So this is the Kimberbell Flexi Foam. Um, and it's just about a quarter inch thick foam. And um, it gives a nice little poop. There are many projects now that use this. Um, and I actually really like it. Um, it is used in this quilt that's right behind us for the pumpkin pin cushions. Um, there are some over the edge towels that use that same stuff and it is a really nice product. It cuts pretty easily. Um, if you bump it, I changed. Okay. I'm, I'm still gonna try not to bump it. Yeah. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so you can see that we have those excess corners there um, and I'm just going to trim as close as I can. Now, sometimes when you are trimming fabric, you clip the, the stitch. It's even more important to not because you don't want this to pop up as your fabric over top of it is doing that. So you're going to clip into wherever um, that line is and then kind of hold that up and clip around that foam. But do try to be careful not to actually get that stitch because you want to make sure it stays lying nice and flat around there. And I have found that it generally kind of looks like it's, it sits kind of at an angle as it comes off once you're trimming, because that's kind of how it lies after you've trimmed it. Now, after you have foam under there, do you typically tape the fabric around after that? 
or is this still one of those places where you where you depends don't? on how big my piece of fabric is mm -hmm. if i have a big enough piece i can hang on to it no but if my piece is um really small and it's pretty tight then yes because um it's easy for that fabric to shift with that foam in there yeah it's a little poofy yep it's easy for the um the foot to kind of push it yep exactly and depending upon your machine what kind you have you know if you have that gliding foot it is possible um that you might see a little pushing just keep an eye on that all right so you can see that i've got that all clear around there these are polka dots that's not my bad trimming <laughs> just so that you guys know i'm good at what i'm no, kidding. <laughs> Totally got this. All right, so at this point, we're going to go ahead and take that velveteen that does look like there's. Mm -hmm. I brought tape over in case you I, want it. I think I can manage. Okay. All right. So we're going to go ahead and tack this down. And you can see that there's quite a poof in there. So it's going to go ahead and tack that down. And I'm just going to use my fingers. But please um, feel free to use tape. And I'm going to reposition that because you can see how it pushed it as I was going because of that little ridge there. And technically, um, this was supposed to be the um, placement line for this. Oh, well, same thing. Yes. <laughs> so um, now that it's tacked, we can do it one more time. We can do sure it one more time. Tacked. Yeah. It was pretty obvious where it was going to go. I know. I was thinking exactly <laughs> the same thing. I'm like, that wasn't necessarily needed. But now I'm going to double stitch it so that it doesn't go anywhere. Which is probably a good thing because it is, it's poopy. All right, so now I get to trim that fun little stuff. I might be wearing it in a moment because Velveteen does like to, oh, we'll just use the word shed. Yes. Just like all four of my dogs. <laughs> all right, so um, pretty easy to trim. No real secret or anything on these guys here. We're just gonna go all the way around. And there is a satin stitch going around the yep. outside edge of that. So um, nice big one. Yes, a decent size satin stitch. So close, but not through the stitches. And um, your uh, foam in there is going to kind of push your scissors away from it anyway. <laughs> in that corner over here. Lots of fuzz everywhere else. Um, your Kimberbell tape, or I, I don't know about you guys, I keep a lint roller next to my embroidery machine for things like this. Um, if you've got a lot of fuzz, thank you. Um, if you've got a lot of fuzz there, you can get it out of the way because otherwise it's going to probably stitch its way into um, into the pattern. You don't want that, of course. Do I have a piece of tape to pull it up? All right, so at this point, we've got a satin stitch that's going to go around the outside and then a little bit of decorative lines for like the sections of the pumpkin. Um, Lines first, and then the 
got a cute little belly. That's right in. Yeah, I like it without the face. Okay, we're gonna skip that. We're gonna skip the face. white satin stitch going around the outside. The car looks really nice with this. It does. Seat. This is um exquisite. But it's 649. So it does look really nice with it. It didn't look like it was going to be the right it, color. It really didn't, but it's it's blending quite nicely. like the um, satin stitches next. For the lettuce. Yes. And then doing the fall design, skip direction step 's stitching wasn't that hypnotic I wasn't watching it at least not up there <laughs> I apologize it was like we blurted out for profanity or right? something right yes <laughs> So at this point, um, it is going to move forward to the satin stitch that goes around the edge of our letters. So we're going to put that black thread back in that we started with. getting some orange fuzzies out of the way. There we go. All right. So this is a uh, 15 minute stitch. It's going to take a hot second. Yeah. Put that in the little side for a minute. So what else we got going on coming up? What do we got? What do we got? That's a really good question. I don't know what we, we have. We uh, have the sewing expo. We do have the sewing expo. Hey, yeah. that to me. When it's coming. No, that's Gmail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> email. <laughs> Drag. So um, the sewing expo is coming up. Um, Nova is the November 11, 12, and 13. And we will be the brother dealer there. Right. So, um, Come visit. Yes, I and just found out that um, I, I guess I didn't realize November 11th is Veterans Day. So um, if you work for a government place, you might have Thursday have day off. off. Yeah, there you go. So very Dave nice. So cute. He's like, "What are you doing on the 11th?" I'm like, "Working a really long day." <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? You want to come out? <laughs> oh, you're free. <laughs> I have something you could do. Yeah. <laughs> That's um that's where we'll be and the guys will be back here right yeah. in the shop. Jean and Tony are gonna stay at the shop and hold down the fort for us. Yep. So I'm guessing it's trying to do Yeah. Or the I don't know. 
it, we're just wondering why it's what it's zooming in on that it's blurring. We're not really sure. I don't know exactly. However, um, to answer Miss Sue's question, yes, we do plan on doing um, stitch outs for the Bella Box. Um, as soon as we have ours, I keep trying um, zooming in. It's blurred in. Okay. I think it's trying to zoom in on like the light down there or something. Hmm. There we go. For some reason, think it's, um, I don't know why. I don't know either. We're snickety today. Just because it's today. It's today, I guess. I don't know. But yes, we are do, uh, planning to do some stitch outs once we um, have our boxes and we um, will look at the calendar and, and figure out what we've got available. Um, you know, with the holiday, it, it's going to be harder. Um, It'll be different to yes. find um, the days. I know we kind of really squeezed them all in because Sarah was going on vacation. But I've got my second week of vacation coming um, in the beginning of December, so um, it, we won't have as many days to move. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it'll really depend on when it comes. I mean, I know they're saying they're shipping out in the middle, but mm -hmm. then we've got Thanksgiving, so. We've got Thanksgiving, and then we have the <laughs> workshop, mm -hmm. and then I'm on vacation, and so we'll find days. Yes, we do plan to do it, but not exactly sure when it will end up being at the moment. Right. So, um, but we will definitely post it as soon as we have those scheduled. And of course, as always, they'll be on the YouTube channel. So if those days don't work um, for you, you can go back and look. Or even if you do watch and you need to go back and look, you can do that too. Um, so we'll be doing that. And um, at Embroidery Club and so did you have an epiphany, what you're going to do for foot fetish coming up? No. No? No. I'm, I, I haven't had an epiphany either. Right? Uh, with the sewing expo coming up and all of the other stuff coming up, I may actually not do a foot fetish next month. Um, I may wait until December um, to do another one. I haven't decided, but it, it, there may not be one um, for yeah. November. There are just... There's only so many days. No, there are not enough days. We will spend the beginning of the month cramming to get ready for sewing expo and then we will spend the remainder of the month cleaning up from it <laughs> yes and so. getting all this stuff so it, and then prepping for that bell box so i really don't know yeah we'll see what's going on but there, we'll have yeah we'll have things happening um and then you know the workshop will be that first week of december yeah either wednesday or friday and right. um we haven't talked about this at all, but I thought perhaps depending on how the store gets put back together, maybe we can do some sort of an open house holiday thing coming up to Christmas where we can do just a little fun thing where um, it's not, it, maybe we do gift guide, gift stuff, we show some We, we do some, some stuff here. Stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, let you guys kind of come and go as you, yep. as you we have a day that we just do a demo like every half an hour or every hour, hour or, or whatever. And, yeah. And you guys can come at your convenience. And, yeah. And, so I, we, if, if November is kind of a wash, I promise December will be, will be, <laughs> yes. It'll give us time to sort of um, prepare for that and then to start kick off the, the new year. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be here before we know it. Um, and we do want to start welcoming you back into the store for classes. Um, you know, we miss having you here and we yeah, are definitely. starting to hear that you guys are getting ready to want to be ready to be here. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, yeah, virtual store. isn't going away, so um, if you still prefer to, to do virtual or like a combination of them, we have no plans of getting rid of, of our virtual stuff, so um, that is definitely not going away. No, we've been really discussing, you know, how we can blend or hybridize or yeah. <laughs> whatever it is um, and make it work so that everybody um, is happy, stays happy, and, and feels comfortable feels comfortable with the whole the whole thing what, so, whatever happens whatever yeah. whatever it is whatever yeah. our new normal might be it feels like it's different all the time yeah yes it does but yeah we um we're gonna be at the sewing expo we are okay we plan on having a lot of fun um tony was saying earlier that this is like the first time in like 25 years that jean has not been at the show um so he is staying behind and he and Tony are going to hold down like the, the, the fort. And um, Aiden, Nisa, and I, and Carolyn and Karen 
are going to be so there. The A crew is going to be there, <laughs> and the B crew is going to be here. The boys. B for boys. Yes. No, I'm not really sure. You know, I mean, obviously he is the boy, but he's going to come hang with us because we're more fun. Mm -hmm. He's like the A B crew. B crew. Yeah, boys. For boys. The boy crew. <laughs> he's like Tony's. Tony's like, like what? We're the B crew. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a make and take at the yep. Sewing Expo. So um, we plan to have, we hope to have a lot of fun. Wow. Oh, my. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. <laughs> no, it's not it at all. I just sat down and. She's like, I'm done with you. I, I sat down for I got, a hot second. I got mustard on my shirt. It's not it that. Blends in. I was going to say, it wasn't that. Just it blends in. Yeah. Why didn't you tell anybody? I, so earlier, I, was, I don't know what I was doing, but I could smell the mustard. And I was yeah, like, that's, it is a strong scent. You're not I was, wrong. I was like, I'm like, why do I still smell mustard? <laughs> because it was still on me. <laughs> Just a little drop on that shelf there. <laughs> oh. Hi, Lisa's mom. Hello. It's still stitching. Yeah. And it's maybe half done. Yeah. <laughs> it's a long time. Yeah, it's all um, satin stitching. So. Underlay. Yeah. So underlay, underlay. Expo is coming up in the next month, I think. And um, we have an OBSD virtual event yep. next month. And we have a dime virtual event in December. Yep, that one's when I'm on vacation too. I seem to keep picking those weeks. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a lot of. There's a lot going on. There it's are just, a lot of um, a constant going on. It, it. Donna Brink says, Hi, happy. <laughs> first happy day after your birthday, Lisa. <laughs> Yup. Had a nice dinner with mom last night. Did you eat at mom's house or did mm -hmm. it, yeah? What did she make for you? Steak, steak. and broccoli and a baked potato. Ooh, how fun. It was very good. Yes, I bet it was. I was reading about a recipe to make baked potatoes in the pressure cooker yesterday. So, I, How long did that take? Uh, like 30 minutes. Okay. Um, depending on how many what you have. Kind of matters how big they are. Yes. I mean, you can get those like massive ones at sure. Sam's Club. That it's got to take like that order straight. Right. Just some big potatoes. Yeah. We um, I we bought that. We bought a pressure cooker, um, air fryer, a couple weeks ago, and um, we've been enjoying that. So I made a pot roast with potatoes and carrots and onions in it the other day and I felt like I felt like I was winning because I put the lid on it sealed <laughs> the recipe did you, said did you feel like you were taking your life into your own hands after you read the instructions right <laughs> I know I bought a pressure cooker and I was like oh my god I'm gonna blow my house up right <laughs> oh and so it was like holy crap you know you you met my husband right so for the longest time he was like we are not having a pressure cooker because you're gonna blow the house up and um, he wanted an air fryer, and I wanted the pressure cooker, and so I won, because he was like, well, you can't leave the house. And I'm like, well, that's not a problem. I mean, it's like 45 minutes to an hour. There's no need to leave the house. Right. It's not, I mean, it does do a crock pot thing, but I'm like, there's no need. But he was, he loved the pot roast with the potatoes and the carrots, so he was like, oh, this is so worth it. I did brisket. Oh, I oh it was really my good. gosh. That's why I bought it. Yeah. Um, I found it on the leaf on the UV app. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. I mean, it was just like, oh, I, I had to do this again. And I, I mean, I made more than like doubled it, I think. Yeah. So I made more than what it had originally said. But it was, it was absolutely phenomenal. Better than what I've gotten at restaurants and paid a fortune for sometimes. Yeah. So I mean, it was really, really good. And of course, it wasn't bad for me. So there you go. So have you looked in, online to see like other um, like accessories for your? No. So um, 
Vine sits on basically on my stove top, so we have a glass top, right? And then the microwave is above there, and it's not too tall up there, but of course it does vent steam. So I turned like the fan on yeah. to vent the steam out, and so um, I, and of course it's too tall for me, so I have to stand on the stool to see inside the pot and the the things on the pot because it's on the stove on the thing right so dave comes home and i'm standing on the stool in front of the thing and he's like is everything okay i'm like i'm just trying to read the because i couldn't the see settings the settings yep. yeah I, i'm trying to read this so he was laughing about that um but then i found this little it's a minion you put him over the steam thing and it diverts the steam into a different direction <laughs> <laughs> sounds like right up your alley oh. I was like, oh, we need this. Yeah, I'm reading it. You know, it has you do the test cycle the first time to yeah. make sure everything is going in the right, right places direction. and yeah. the pressure is pressurized and the whole. And I'm just like, I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this this is too many directions for me. I just want to push go. Yeah. But it was totally worth it. It was so good. I was just like, this is fantastic. But, um, Kind of right before vacation and i used it and now i, and I haven't used it since yeah but um i i, I don't have a stool that i needed though <laughs> I, I didn't need a stool yeah well i think ours is taller than normal because of the different lids so there's a there's two lids for okay. the top um but the steam controls are on the back gotcha and the board is very short yeah so it has to be like way back on the stove and up and I was definitely too short so it was quite gotcha. comical. Yeah, we our microwave is over our stove and I felt like it was too low. So we actually took the cabinet that's over the stove mm -hmm. and raised it so that we could raise the microwave so it, there's a little bit more space, space yeah. in there. We, yeah, and, you know, my husband's tall so he was like just looking at the bed you know he's just <laughs> like yeah this is great i'm like can you get me the <laughs> way too tall there yeah. but yeah it works it's it's nice we actually took the doors off so it's open that's where my cookbooks go and you know it's mm -hmm. it actually works really nicely it almost looks like it was meant to be like that almost we, we're we're pretty good at the retrofit yeah. i mean Nothing ever measures out exactly nothing the ever. same thing, except for yeah. if you're doing it like originally with nothing starting from, from scratch, scratch, then you can make it make whatever. The wall wherever you but want it's it like, be. you know, we assumed our house would be a little bit more square because it was built in a factory and then brought, no, you know, not, not even close. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I mean, we bought it, it was. It wasn't built for us. Right. So, I mean, other people did things to it before, you know. Yeah. But it, it's not like they did anything. It was literally built, not square. It's like, how do you build it in a factory and still not, not be square. able to square up a corner? Right. You know, when you're laying a tile and it doesn't lay right, you're just like... <laughs> but we haven't found a square room yet. No. Nope, not a single one. I think we're just jinxed. But I have to say, this is super cute. It's very cute. And with the black thread, even with a dark, little bit darker towel, it shows up really nice. And I think it looks really good. And it looks very fall. It looks very nice. Yeah, this is totally um, like a thing right now. Home with something. Something as the old. That is uh, that is totally uh, an in thing. So they are definitely riding the wave. love. Yep. With the O being something. Yep. Yes, we did a love with a sewing machine as the old data cutting mm -hmm. long time. This is not new. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's very popular. And uh, but it's nicely done. It looks very sharp. The foam really sets off the pumpkin. That's interesting. Why for did that happen? <laughs> I wonder if that was just the way the computer decided to go, or, um... That was definitely an interesting Interesting, run. uh... Hmm. So, um, after this is done, there is a setup stitch 
for the face on the pumpkin if you choose to do that to make it more of a jack-o-lantern instead of just a pumpkin so if you wanted a halloween towel versus a fall thanksgiving whatnot towel so um if you decided to go that route you certainly could do that that would be the next step um from here and that would give you a placement line and then a tack down line for the other piece of glitter which we did provide in the kit um, if you chose to do that so there is a piece of black glitter in your kit to do the eyes and the cutout smile for the pumpkin face if you choose to do that and that will be that final piece um, after this so we'll do a placement line and then you'll cover that and then a um, tack down and then you would trim again just like with any other glitter uh, you would want to fuse the glitter into position making sure that you cover up the glitter with a pressing cloth before um, you don't want to put that directly I wonder how long it's been doing that it wasn't doing that a minute ago so hmm I guess the light maybe I don't know quick setups you know it's mm -hmm. but we're done so there's that so there is that a gorgeous stitch out there and again if you would like you've got the stitches there to give you the eyes and the smile for the jack-o-lantern's face mm -hmm. if you would like to do that but we're not going to because we want to be able to keep it out longer that's right so there you go um so that is october's Fill in the, the blank. blank. What do we got? The orange is the exquisite. Mm -hmm. And exquisite is 649, ES649. There you are. Yep. I think it turned out great. And yes, that matches very, very well. When we originally just laid it out over it, we were like, hey, well, this so one's bright. This one's better than that, but it's wow, it's really bright. But it, it um it turned out really turned great. out really well. And um, it blends quite well, actually, um, with those uh, pieces. And with that, there we go. You can see that. Oh, okay then. There you go. Yeah, it's super cute. Very, very nice design. And um, yours for the purchase of this towel set. <laughs> so there you go. Um, if you haven't gotten it yet and you would like to, we do still have them available. And um, if you already have and you've been waiting, now you can go stitch too. That's right. So thanks for joining us this afternoon. That's what we've got for you. Uh, we will see you again next Tuesday. And um, fingers crossed, we will be ready and waiting when we go live instead of running like a crazy person. That's the plan. It's a concept. We're going <laughs> to... We'll, we'll, <laughs> You guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy the weekend. Stay Bye. warm. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> we'll get it right. It'll get there. <laughs>